Hello, everyone. Sam here from creativetradingsystem.com. Uh, making this a small video as a weekly recap and trades taken last week. So let's get started. We started on the 20th May. And this is the first trade gold from 200 brick size, the box size, right? Chart uh, buy order is right there. I shall move to break even plus. And you can see every single trade you will see according to the setup and the rules followed. And uh, I have to have four conditions uh, for the setup. Once they are all there, my alarm beeps and I open the trade. And sometimes I have, most of the time, I have my EA on and the EA takes the trade. So this little uh, arrow here, that is the EA opening the trade, right? So this is how it is. So this is the first trade. The second one, you can see here, um, this is a 40 minute chart, uh, uh, this EA, um, uh, by mistake, I had this on, on the 40 minute chart instead of the 20, but it took the, uh, the, the, the trade here anyway, because of the, you know, and this, it went up good, right? But usually, usually I put the ear on the 20 minute chart, right? So that happens sometimes. Now, this one, seven minute chart, uh, EA took this, uh, uh, also the entry, the pound yen from seven minute. You see this arrow here? This was the entry and all the way to 90 pip on the 20th. And this one is also USD yen taken by the E. It is also 20th, uh, on the 20th, right? Uh, Euro yen for 70 pip. It is also on the 20th taken by the E here. Buy orders right there. I sell, I move manually to break even plus. Uh, once the trade goes in my way, 30, 40 pip, I move the SL. Then uh, 21st, there was no uh, trade at all. And then the 22nd, you can see pound Aussie went up. This one also taken by the EA. The error is right there. And uh, I, I'm mentioning it because sometimes I open manually. Sometimes, and most of the time, the EA is there. But if sometimes what happens is that when uh, it's beeping and the trade is taken, so I take it off, right? And then I forget to put it back on. So when I see... Something like that, and then I see a setup manually, so I open the trade manually immediately. So I'm always scanning. Um, anyway, so gold uh, to the downside, gold started to drop big time, right? So sell order is right there on the 22nd, May. This is what it is. This is uh, open uh, by the E as well. See this little arrow? That's how it is. And then uh, this one, uh, you can see on the 22nd, pound Aussie after the news, big move. Uh, buy order is right there. And for 120 pound Aussie. And then on the second, uh, 22nd as well, uh, Euro uh, Aussie went up as well, right there for 70 pip. Um, then uh, on the 23rd, Euro Yen again. You all know that you know, what's happening with Yen, right? Yen is keep getting weaker and weaker and weaker every single day, every single week. And, uh, but you know, uh, last week or week before that, we had an intervention, so it went down a little bit. But then since then, after that, uh, start to go up again, right? So be careful because they will step in very soon again, right? And then the yen uh, pair is going to dive big time to the downside. So in the meantime, it is keep going to the upside, right? So on the 23rd, euro yen, 70 pip here. And then now on the 24th, uh, this uh, US 30 went down. So I took this downside, uh, this one here, the 40 minute chart, but the entry was not from here because see, this is not matching, right? So this is actually from the 20 minute chart of US 30, but 20 minute chart was not covering this trade. This is a big trade, right? So it was going out of this, uh, the chart, the screen. So I just to show that, you know, this was a nice 40 minute short setup and then this is a 20 minute entry. This is a 20 minute entry. This is a 20 minute entry. So this is one of those 20 minute chart entry. And this is a sell order right there from 39,516 to 39,124. Now this one, uh, NASDAQ, this went up on the 24th. And uh, from here to here, this is uh, taken by the EA. And then S&P 500 also went up from here to here. You can see that from 15, uh, 15 to 53.48. Now, why they went up? Uh, let me show you something. This is the chart. Uh, these are the couple of charts. So, for example, this one. For NASDAQ, 40-minute chart, I had this chart made on the 18, that this is wave 1, 2, Elliott wave 3. And from there, it should go down for wave 4, right? 
So this one, as of today, I can show you that you know, NASDAQ, 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 this is what happened. So in, from here, instead of uh, coming down exactly from there, it went up a little bit more to the upside and then finish the wave three up there. And now it's coming down for wave four. Now, usually, if you can see, the wave four comes like in this fashion. So we have one, two, and this correction usually is a zigzag, steep, uh, like a less than 45 degree angle or 45 or 40, less than 45, right? Uh, actually, should I say more than 40 right, to the downside? So uh, steep angle, right? And this uh, wave four correction comes in sideways fashion. So A equals B equals C, or C is a little bit below than A. So that's how the you know ABC fashion, uh, you know, wave four correction comes. If it is going to be a flat, maybe it's going to be a triangle. Who knows, right? But the triangles, the problem with the triangles are that you cannot predict them. Uh, once they are finished, then you can say that, yeah, okay, I see five legs, A, B, C, D, E, right? But uh, uh, this one, uh, is it going to be a flat or triangle? We don't know. But right now, uh, it is the first leg, the second leg. If it is going to be finishing here, the third leg will come down here. That would be a flat. After that, if it doesn't come down here and then go up, then it will be making a triangle here, right? So we will deal with that. But the idea is that every time it dip and then start to go up, you go long. So that's why you see this NASDAQ from go going to the upside. This is my trade here. Right there, NASDAQ. It was going to the upside, gave me the entry here and gone, right? And similarly, I made this uh, S&P 500 chart. It's like this, right? So we have three around 161%. Then it's supposed to be coming down for wave four. So what happened to this chart? You can see here, this is what happened. It came down exactly from that area, 161%. And now we have A, B, I don't know if it's finished or not, but it started to go up and I got in and you can see the trade is right there where this one. You see that? Nice and clean, beautiful going to the upside from the 20 minute chart. So this is how it is with the help of Elliott Wave. And with the help of my entry system, these are the trades that you can take easily. That's why I recommend that uh, on my website you go, you will see that, you know, uh, Exit Wave course, and the Harmonic Pattern course, they are very, very important and very good, very lucrative. Uh, why? Because, uh, uh, you know, there are, you know, multiple, uh, uh, you know, courses out there, right? Elliot Wave and Harmonic Pattern, but they do not give you a system to make the precise entry. With this course, you're going to get this system that I have, you know, it's like all the indicators to open these trades, I mean, uh, open these candles and then set up uh, uh, the, the indicators required and the alarm and the, that beeps when the setup is there. You also get that, which is, you know, alone is like 100 bucks, right? So uh, the cost is nothing. You know, just simple one trade by this course or you know, after taking the course using my system will pay it off. One trade only. Right. So uh, but it is a very, very powerful course. Both of them, both of them. Very good. Uh, and it, for the fact that you got to get my system alongside the course. All right. All the instructions, uh, videos and the indicators and the EAs and everything. All right. So uh, take advantage of that and learn how to uh, do it. And you know, this market doesn't do anything but make these patterns again and again. Elliott waves right there. And harmonic patterns, if you know how to calculate them and where to find them, you will find them. It's just a matter of knowing how to find them, okay? And that's what I teach in my courses. So uh, take advantage of that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get these videos on time where I'm going to make some, uh, you know, give you uh, some setups uh, as well for the next week. And uh, you can take advantage of those setups as well. All right. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend.